Today's video is about our witch's Halloween cauldron. It's going to be done in three parts, but all in one video. First part is going to be the burning embers. I've got a base out of a piece of hardboard, you can use cardboard, just so we can pick it up and move it around whenever we want to. I've got a small set of orange LEDs. A small piece of a plastic tub that's just going to sit over the top of where the battery compartment is so we can take the batteries out later. And put another piece of tub in the centre just to give it a bit of height. And then I'm going to glue all the LEDs roughly where I want them. There we go. Let's give it a test. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now they're all in place and glued down. I'm going to squirt some foam around to build it up lightly. I don't want it too thick so you can't see the light through it. Just build it up so it looks right. While that's drying, we'll just try the lights, make sure we can see enough light through where the foam is. When the foam's dry, I've taken it outside so we can start spraying it. I'm using red spray, silver and black. Just doing it lightly so you can still see the lights through it. That's all dry now so we can test them what they look like in the dark that's finished now so we can start on the cauldron this is going to be the reservoir from the bottom of our cauldron so we only need a small amount of water we don't want too much weight there we're just going to put this little tub down We've got a cauldron, we're going to line it with just a piece of polythene just to stop the foam sticking to the sides of the cauldron so we can hit it after. Put some baking beads in there to heat, heat the weight down and then we'll foam that round and let that set. That's all set now so we can take the baking beads out and remove that, take the polythene off the outside of the foam. A little bit longer to set, and then we can start carving the shape. I'm putting an angle on this one so it comes up to so near the top of the uh, cauldron just to help the smoke come out. Putting another piece of polythene in, that's going to be our liner. Weight it down with the beads for now. And I'm going to spray some spray foam round just to stick it, just hold it in place on top of the foam. I'm going to cut the excess off and then we're going to tape it down around the edge of the uh, cauldron. We made a ring of foam. That's going to go around the top of the cauldron to make it look like it's thicker than it is. Rounded the edges off and we'll cover up where we've taped a little liner into it. I 
I'm going to seal around that rim with some painter's cork and run it down the outside and blend it in so it looks like some of the witch's brews been bubbling over. Now that's all dry, we're going to seal it all up with some plastic dip. Seal all around the top edge and mask the bottom of the uh, cauldron off so we don't get any spray on that. Now the plastic dip's all dry, we can start painting the spillage that's come over the sides. We're just using the bright green, purple and red blend them all together. That's all painted now. Going to put a bit of iridescent gold on the brackets and the handle. Added our little fogging machine. That's our cauldron done. That's our chain, just giving it a quick coat of matte black paint. And that's going to be the chain we use for hanging the cauldron off. I'm using raw sienna and burnt sienna just to make a bit of rust to the chain to make it look gold. And the last part is the tripod. Just using three garden canes and lay them out like this. I'm going to use a piece of garden wire just to bind them together to hold them in place. And then we're going to cover them with garden twine. That's our tripod made. We've covered the wire with their uh, string so you can't see it anymore. And then we're just going to spray it with some matte black paint. That's the tripod made. The next thing is just to hang the chain from it. Pass the chain up with a piece of, another piece of wire. Just hide that in there. So I finished cauldron. My tripod. Our burning embers. We're we'll going to put them all together to make our display now. And that's our three props put together. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a like. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.